This is Mog Anarchy, and welcome back. It is part three of My Child Lebensborn. Uh, in our previous part, uh, Karen had just gone to school for the first time, and she had quite a bad day. And then she spent the next few days bugging me to buy her a backpack, which I eventually did. After saving up all of my valuable krona, right, it is August the 25th. It's pretty outside. It's Saturday, so no school today. Yippee! Yay, Liv is home. Can I go? Uh, shouldn't we feed you and wash you first? Ah, uh, okay. I'm not having you going to your friends, starving and filthy. I mean, your dress is still a bit manky, but, um, you're probably going to be playing outside anyway, so... Eat your porridge. <laughs> you only want one porridge. Yeah, but what about now? Alright, you can go. Liv and I are going to play by the lake. Bye! Huh. If I went to the lake, would they be there? Huh, I can't go to the lake. Uh, I've got a time unit. What am I doing with it? I will cook. And now I will work. Not doing overtime. Need to buy more food though. Uh, cheese. That and that. I'm home. I love playing with Liv. She's my best friend. I told you she'd get filthy. Could we do something together? Yeah, let's go outside and look for berries. Or mushrooms. Right, we'll have those mushrooms. I like mushrooms. Good job, really. Uh, let's try the fishing rod. Oh, we can skip stones. We haven't been to the lake yet, have we? Tap the stones to skip across the water. This doesn't cost any time units. I am literally terrible at skipping stones. In real life as well. I just cannot do it. Can I get more than three? I can't even get one? Are we man? What, do I tap or do I flick? Flick. <laughs> Rubbish at this. Anyway, fishing. Move the barber around to follow the shadow. Oh, there's the shadow. Good lord, this is awkward. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is really awkward. I caught fish, though. It's getting late. What if the river monster comes out? We should head back home, I think. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is going from doing a small child's voice. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of fun, though. Uh, we need to feed you. You may have... I looked up what this is. It is actually a thing. And I'm probably going to butcher the pronunciation horribly. Sildegrin? S-I-L-D-Y-R-N? I'm probably spelling it wrong as well because I can't remember. But it is actually a Norwegian dish. <laughs> Bed, child. I'm afraid we don't have time for a story, though. Twenty sixth of August. It's Sunday, so you can come outside with me today. You are absolutely 
filthy. You are having a bath before bed. And we have if we have a fishing rod, we can go fishing. We went fishing yesterday. You know we have a fishing rod. Me and Liv found some berries too. Maybe we could go pick them. Absolutely, if we find any. And for the moment, we'll just wash your monkey face. But we'll give you a proper bath later. But, porridge first. Uh, let's see. Oh my god, there's a fox! Mr. Fox! A new entry's been added to the photo album. Hang on a minute, I need to see what this is. Ha! Ah, there's a picture of her with a fox! She looks weird, hasn't that picture like? I am glad she didn't go near the fox. Ah, and don't foxes have like fleas and stuff. Saying that, this is like a, a fox living in the forest. It's not the sort of foxes we have here that, you know, go around people's bins and mug people for their garlic bread. Google it. <laughs> uh, we'll have those berries and then we'll fish. Oh, fishing is awkward, man. I never thought I'd find a game that had a more awkward fishing mechanic than bloody Zelda. I caught a boot. Are you having a laugh? I caught a boot. Wow, the fishing rod you made works. Has this ever happened to anybody in reality? Outside of media, cartoons, video games, films and that. People always seem to catch boots. Has it ever happened in reality? I caught a second but Are you having a laugh? Seriously. I really want to go and draw. Do you want to come and help me? Aye, alright then. Yay, let's go! Omi! You're the one who's been speaking German. Omi is um, a shortened version of the German word for grandma. So Omi is essentially granny, gran or nana. It's like a s informal version of grandma. And that makes sense. It's a lady with grey hair and pearls. She's uh, an older lady. You know your grandma. Thank you for drawing with me. This one turned out really good, don't you think? I think so. Who did you draw? It's Omi. She was the nicest lady ever. You, you know your grandma. How do you know your grandma? Such a nice drawing. She must be lovely. Mm-hmm. She was really lovely to me. I think so, anyway. I can't really remember much. Didn't I adopt her when she was a kid, though, not a baby? So maybe her grandparents raised her for the first couple of years? And she's obviously old enough to remember and was obviously picking up language at that age, so she's learnt German words. What's this picture? Ah, fishing. She always draws herself in the... Uh, the default outfit. I keep getting achievements and they're not showing up in this corner, so I don't know what they are. Oh, she caught a fish! Except we didn't, we caught boots. Where's the picture of Omi? Isn't that going to end up in the album? Huh. Odd. Is there anything new in here? Oh, yes, there is. I have written your mother. She might want to help, although she doesn't want contact. It's hard to understand why a mother would abandon her child, but so many of the mothers who had children with German soldiers did indeed give them away. It is thought around 12,000 such children were born in Norway during World War II, most of them to young women and teenagers like your mother. That is really sad. You also need to know that you are wanted. She certainly is. You are my child and my only family, and I promise to be there for you. That's the most important job I have, to try to keep you safe and help you cope with everything that might happen. I will try with everything I have to do the best I can for you always. Oh, that's really sweet. 
So they clearly didn't have a rule that single people couldn't adopt them. Because I know some countries even now are quite arsy about that. You have to be a couple and you have to be married. And certain countries have that rule. You know, you can't be LGBT, you can't be single, you have to be married, blah, blah. Uh, what's the date? Uh, the 26th, of course. Uh, you are going to have some to eat. You're going to eat this cheese toast. And then you're going in the damn bath. Because you are absolutely rancid, child. There we go. Nice and clean. Wash your head. Wash your shoulders. Wash the rest of you. There we go. Clean. Bed. I really like playing with Liv. She says I'm funny. And she laughs when I say my strange words. Oh, German words, by any chance. Strange words? You know, words like Omi. Other strange words, too. Liv says they sound funny. Uh, every time I see Omi written with two M's. Because isn't it normal to only spell it with one? Hmm, should I warn her about saying German words? Should I? Yes, I think I should. You should be careful who you say those words in front of. Why? There are people in the neighborhood that dislike those words. Why are they... <gasps> Have I been saying bad words? They're not bad words and I don't want to tell her that. Some bad people. I don't want to imply that all German people were bad. Because not all of them were. Um, they're strange words. If you don't know them, mean people don't like that. Oh. I'll try to be less strange. Oh, that's upset her. Choice hardened her heart. I don't like that. Ooh, new entry added to the journal. You shouldn't think ill of your mother. It is true that some Norwegian women had German boyfriends because they could offer better food, luxury items, and parties. Parties? And some were also informers betraying other Norwegians. But most were young women who probably simply fell in love. During the, occupa during the occupation, there were over... 3,500 German soldiers in Norway, in a country with only 3 million people. Many of them lived in private homes and many were still teenagers. When you grow older, you'll learn to control, you'll learn that you can't control who you fall in love with. That is very true. Good morning, I'm ready for today. Newspaper. Letter. Uh, we will check those later. Because we have to feed the child first. And we don't have anything, so I'm going to have to cook something. Uh, I can cook the fish, the mushrooms. Uh, you can have some blueberry jam for breakfast. That seems breakfasty. I hate that she's always hungry. Uh, she hasn't complained that she's hungry though, so that's a good thing. My backpack is really nice. It's time to go soon. I'll see you soon. Learn a lot. You go to school, I go to work. We need to buy some more things that are already cooked. So we'll get some porridge and we'll get some cheese sandwiches. They... they tore up my backpack! Are you fucking kidding me? That was 200 kroner. I'm so sorry. I tried to stop them. It was so expensive and now it's ruined. Please don't be mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at them. Oh no, are you okay? They didn't hurt me. I'm just sad. 
You worked so hard to get me that backpack, and I couldn't keep it nice and new. Don't be sad, Karen. I'll fix it. Really? You can fix it? I'm sorry I couldn't take care of it better. Oh, look at the state of it. So they've ripped off the strap completely, chucked it in the mud, and the corners got ripped. So I've repaired it with a bit of rope. <laughs> well, I suppose it's functional. <laughs> if not, it's not exactly attractive, but it's functional. <gasps> you did it! You fixed my backpack. It's almost as good as new. I'm not going to say that because it's not her fault, and I'm not going to imply that it's going to happen again. I will. So, you may have cheese sandwich. Now I need to check what that letter was. It's not letting me. People are mean. I want school to be over soon. Those who are kind to others receive kindness. You reap what you sow. Okay. Night, night. You don't want a story? Uh, write a letter to the school to inform them what has happened. Alright, I can check my other mail at the same time then, hopefully. Faga, Faga Strand School, Vega Strand St School, bloody Norway! <laughs> I can't pronounce these things. Some of the other children at school have been cruel to Karen, and yesterday they ruined her school equipment. I ask that the school do more to address this bullying problem before it gets out of hand. Are they going to listen, though? In the news, make tasty lingonberry jam. Three kilograms of fruit, one litre of juice, and two kilograms of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. I'm saying that you do use a lot of sugar in jam, don't you? Use whole nice berries for jam. Boil the berries with the juice for ten minutes. Put the sugar in a big jar. Pour boiling... Boil, ugh, I literally can't talk today. Pour boiling berries on top and stir. Well, I've been making berries, so I suppose I already knew this. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't help you. I have a new life and I cannot have it disturbed by mistakes from my past. Karen is no longer my responsibility. Do not write again, Siri. Fuck you, Siri. Morning. Have some porridge. And let's wash your face as well. There we go, back in the blue. Let's cook something for later. Let's cook this fish we caught. I know that big girls have to go to school, but it's really hard. Take this letter to your teacher. It should help. Do you think it will help? I hope so, but I'm not holding that much hope. Okay, then I'll deliver it. I don't like school, but at least you help me. Where is she? She's in the wardrobe. She's changed her clothes. <laughs> you changed your own clothes? Is there a reason for that? I wish you never made me deliver that stupid letter. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Your letter made everything worse. 
The teacher read the letter out loud in the class. She said that I was a snitch. Then she made me stand with my arm up in history class. Oh. Does that mean what I think it means? Because the teachers know she is of German origin and they're in history class, presumably learning about the war. Are they making her do a Nazi salute? Which, if you're unfamiliar, the Nazi salute is basically holding out your left arm uh, 40 degrees, 45 degrees upwards. Even if I was on video cam, I still wouldn't uh, demonstrate. Google it if you want to see what a Nazi salute looks like, but I have a horrible feeling that is what the teacher made her do. Either that, or the, or she's like been put in some sort of uncomfortable stress position, because I know corporal punishment was a thing then. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Karen. I'm sorry too, but it isn't your fault. You tried to help. I tried. I failed, and I feel like a terrible person. Have some trout on bread. You are really dirty. Let's have a bath. I'm sorry for being upset with you. You're always standing up for me. That makes me feel better. <sighs> I'm tired. Can I tickle you? Can I pat you on the head? You're not feeling it. That's sad. Uh, let's make some mushroom toast. Cooking with her raises her care. Huh. Interesting. Jet, get off my computer tower. Get down! My computer tower has a really stupid design in that the power button is on the top of it. And sometimes the cats walk across it. And yes, in the past, they have stepped on the power button and turned my computer off. And that would just be bloody typical, wouldn't it? If you did it in the middle of a Let's Play. What is wrong with me? Why would you ask that? The way that others treat me. There must be something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Why do they have to pick on me? Bullies pick on anyone. It doesn't always make sense. Get some rest and please stop blaming yourself. Okay. Journal. <clears throat> Maybe she was scared. Maybe she's scared. In 1945, when the war and five years of German occupation ended, many of these young women were paraded as traitors through the streets. Local mobs cut off their hair and they lost their jobs. Though not illegal to have a German boyfriend, it was and still is seen as treason by very many Norwegians. The hatred towards the occupying enemy and their Nazi ideology grew very strong during the occupation. Now that we've been freed, all things linked to Germany are seen as evil. Therefore, many of these mothers are trying to hide the fact they had a child with a German soldier. Others feel that it's impossible to keep their child. It's hard to get jobs, a place to live, and any respect if you're known as a German slut. Your neighbours won't let you forget. That horrible school. I'm so sorry, Karen. I know I'm meant to be a strong parent and your protector, but the reality is that I feel helpless. Your school is the only one around, and I don't have any powerful connections in this town, so I cannot ask for help with the principal. I don't know who to turn to, but I'll try to think of something. Yeah, there is this overwhelming sense of helplessness in this game. All this is going on, and... You're clearly struggling for money. The country's just out of war. I imagine a lot of people felt like this post-war, to be honest. Whether they had a 
a German child or not, a German-born child, should I say, because she's probably technically Norwegian. It's morning. I'm glad that I have my backpack back. Tickle? Oh, when she's sad, you can't tickle her. Have some porridge. Uh, let's cook some food for later. Let's cook this, because you liked this before. We should be going. Hang in there. I will. Oh, look. The backpack. <laughs> With the rope. We have fixed it. Why are people saying I'm a German kid? I'm not German. The bullies just want to rile you up. It wasn't them. Miss Hansen said it. This fucking teacher. She told the whole class that I'm a German kid. It's not true. You're a Norwegian citizen. She probably is, if I've adopted her. Why would they say that? Is it about my parents? Tell Karen what you know. Your father was a German soldier. He was here in Norway during the war. Your mother gave you away because your dad was German. Oh. That's all I know so far. My dad was a German. Thank you for telling me. Yep, now let's wash that mucky face. Wash behind those big monkey ears. <laughs> she has got little monkey ears. But in the cutest of ways. Uh, let's have this that I cooked. Because you liked this before, didn't you? Nom nom nom. Uh, and seeing as all you like to cook with me, we should cook some more food. Let's cook some... Blueberry jam or lingonberry jam. The newspaper said lingonberries, but whenever we pick them, she says blueberries, so I'm assuming they're blueberries. And we'll cook some more of this sealed grin soup, whatever it is. Bedtime. Good night. Thank you for fixing my backpack. Thank you for being patient. You know, they say that Germans are bad guys. We don't know if your bad guy was. Uh, you, we don't know if your dad was a bad guy or not. And we don't because, although the Germans were associated with, like all Germans were tarred as being Nazis, they weren't all Nazis. Some of them were, of course. Some of the high-ranking officers were Nazi party members. But I imagine, like every other country, a lot of young men, teenagers, were drafted against their will. No one is ever completely bad or completely good. I don't understand. Never mind, then. Things have changed a lot, now that I'm grown up. I was kind of looking forward to starting school and being around more kids. I thought it would be nice. I don't understand why they have to be so mean. Miss Hansen and some of the grown-ups, they look at me like I've stolen or broken something. And I haven't. I've been good, really good. Not even getting a backpack worked. I'm... Maybe there is something wrong with me. My parents weren't married. Was that because I'm bad? My dad is a German. Maybe if he's bad, then I'm bad. Oh my god, this is so sad. But I don't even know him, so how can I be bad? Liv and me and you, we're the only good people. She doesn't like it when the other kids get angry. Then she goes and hides. I'll try to hide more, too. But this is my best hiding place, because you're here to chase the bad people away. I'm tired. 
Of course you're tired. You've just, like, massively had a word vomit. Not that I discourage that. Children should always uh, feel comfortable to speak their feelings. And I think... Oh, no. I was going to say we will end the episode there, but we will read this journal and then we will do it. Parenting is not easy. I hope I wasn't selfish to adopt you, but some days I wonder. I have so little to offer you, and often I don't even know what to say. You should have had siblings and two parents who knew what they were doing. Should I be strict, making you stronger and harder so that you can stand up to your bullies? Or should I shower you with kindness to make up for the negative things you're experiencing? Or maybe just be as honest as I can? Ah, uh, honestly, a mix of all three. But I'm not a very assertive person in general. To use a real world example, um, my niece was once running around with like a hard candy in her mouth. And instead of saying, stop, stop running, don't do that. I said, stand still and swallow your sweet because you might choke. I don't ever say to kids, don't do that. Stop doing that. Pack that in. I'll say, don't do this because. I'll give them a reason. Don't do it because you might hurt yourself. You might break something. You might hurt someone else. This might happen. I always explain why I'm telling them not to do things. She wouldn't tell me. I'm so sorry. Your mother wouldn't tell us your father's identity, so I'll try to find out some other way. And we will end that episode there. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Thank you.